Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. Today's learn at home, step-by-step -step Arduino concept is connecting a Mutrix keypad to Arduino. The main purpose of using Mutrix keypad, instead of push-button switches, is the number of pin connections to Arduino can be reduced. In case, 16 push-button switches are used, then, 16 pins of Arduino is required to read the status of buttons. The Mutrix keypads are normally available as 16 button, in 4 rows by 4 columns. And 12 button, in 4 rows by 3 columns. In our explanation, 4 by 4, that is, 16 button keypad, is used. The concept of 4 by 3, is also similar, except, that, the last column is absent. Here, a Mutrix keypad uses, rows, and column concept. All the buttons are connected to, any one set of row, and any one set of column, as shown. There is no connection, between any row to any column. Here, as an example, if you press on number 2. The connected row 1, and connected column 2, are cross-connected, and acts like, a push button is pressed. Similarly, if you press on number 7. The connected row 3, and connected column 1, are cross-connected, and acts like, another push button is pressed. So, as you pressed a key. The connected row number and connected column number are cross-connected and behaves like a particular button is pressed. A flexible connector is available at the bottom of the keypad. There are 7 number of pins for 4x3 Mutrix keypad and 8 number of pins for 4x4 Mutrix keypad. The left 4 pins are connected to rows and remaining pins to columns. To have more practical example, each button on keypad is pressed and checked for continuity. And also to note, the row and column relation to each button. This method is, useful to check, all buttons and connections, for every new keypad, before using in a project. Please press like button, if you like this video, then subscribe for more projects, and also share with your friends. This is the typical circuit diagram for testing a Mutrix keypad. In case of 4x3 keypad, column 4 connection to Arduino Uno pin is 0, is absent. Now, this is, actual 4x4 keypad, or you may use 4x3 keypad, connected internally, to rows and columns, as explained. The flexible connecting strip is, connected to keypad rows, and columns, on one end, and to Berg strip, on other end. Now, connect the keypad, to Arduino board, as per the test circuit diagram. Then, open Arduino IDE, and declare the number of rows as 4, and columns as 3, of keypad. Then, declare the key values, in an array, by matching the text on the buttons. Then, assign the Arduino pin connections, for rows, and columns. Now, in setup function, initiate built-in LAD, as status indicator, and set serial connection with 9600 baud rate. Set all row pins as output, using pin mode function. Similarly, set all column pins as input, and pulled high, using pin mode, and digital write functions. Now, create a function, read keypad, to read the press button status, and return the key value, else null. In the for loop, first set all the four rows to high. Then, set each row to low, one by one. Now, read the status of each column, sequentially, using digital read function. If any column is pulled low, due to button press, then the corresponding text, from the previously declared array, matching the row and column, is returned. If no button is pressed, then, null value is returned. Now, in the main loop function, the read keypad function is called, and assigned the return value, to a variable. Key. If the key, has valid value, then, the built-in LAD glows, for a while. And the value is sent as serial output. Once the Arduino sketch is ready, then, connect the Arduino board, to USB port. Then, compile, and upload the sketch, to Arduino board. Now, check all buttons of keypad, one by one. You may observe, the built-in LED glows, while pressing any valid button. 
If you select Serial Monitor from Tools menu, the status of serial output is visible. You may observe sometimes more than one row output for each key press, which is not desirable. By increasing the delay on key press, the problem may be solved. Now, recompile and upload the sketch. Now, you may observe the difference in serial monitor. Only one row text is sent through serial port now on each button press. If required, you may activate fourth column also. Now, open Arduino sketch again and change the number of columns as four. Then declare fourth column text to the character array. Then assign Arduino pin number for fourth column. Now Arduino pin numbers are assigned for four rows and four columns. There is no change in the remaining sketch. Now again compile and upload the sketch to Arduino board. Now press each button one by one and observe that the built-in LED glows once for each button press. When open the serial monitor, the pressed key values are visible. Hope you learned about connecting Mutrix keypad to Arduino. All the best. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makertronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.